this was a truck that, that shipped from the factory command ready. So we've got our 793s available today to be either retrofitted in the field or to be shipped from the factory with autonomy. Right now, we've got over 90 of these trucks running worldwide on four different continents, and we've hauled over 550 million tons autonomously in five years' time. And we've done that, most proudly, safely. We set out to be more productive than a man fleet and safer than a man fleet, and we've achieved that with what we've done. Now, as you can see, there's nobody in the cab of that truck. It's gone ahead and it's come in and executed the turns and everything and spotted exactly where it needed to be in order to go ahead and be loaded by that loading tool. Now, that was done because we've got a person in the cab of that front shovel. That front shovel's got an operator in there that's utilizing the cat terrain, which is one of our components that you can use in the man world, but in autonomy it allows him to have a few extra functionalities. He actually set the spot point using terrain for that truck. He told the truck exactly where he wanted him to be and now the truck's achieved that. It also is strong head and he calls in the truck. The truck doesn't come into the load area until the operator tells him it's ready for him. A truck also will not leave until the operator says it's time to leave. So the operator's in full control at all times with cat terrain. He's already called the second truck into, into the queue, so he's ready to go ahead and, and exchange as soon as he picks this one out. Now cat terrain gives us several other features. The operator, while he's got control over the autonomous trucks with this, he's also able to see the arrival times of the next truck, so he can manage his workplace and, and go ahead and manage the floor if he sees he's got a break in trucks coming up. He's also able to see what grade that he's excavating. By knowing that, it allows him to, to be able to go ahead and make sure he's maintaining good mining hygiene and staying within the ore block that he's meant to be excavating. Also, as he transitions from one block to the next, he would actually they would be telling the trucks different material types so that they'd be dispatched using cat fleet to the appropriate location. Now you saw a motor grader that came down here. That motor grader also has cat terrain in it. It allows them to maintain the whole road profiles to exact specifications loaded in by the mining department. That truck's able to safely interact with that man motor grader because we've got terrain on there. The truck knows where every piece of equipment is in this area at all times as well as the people are able to go ahead and control how trucks interact with them. They can lock out areas like you see this water cart's done. He's able to use his cat fleet system inside of there to lock out the area so that even if the bigger operator took that truck out, it will not leave because he's in there going ahead and using it to, to hose it down to maintain the dust in the area. Once he leaves the area, he'll be able to remove that lock and the trucks will go ahead and move on productively. Now this is really important because it allows us to have safety and productivity. We're not unwantingly stopping the trucks at different times. We allow them to go ahead and interpret the world the right way, but also we have the controls for when we need to do those kind of uh, tight exercises. A little bit more about cat terrain. We've got cat terrain for drilling. We've got a drill perked up here on the bench. Cat terrain's installing it. When we use cat terrain for drilling, we're able to actually locate for where we need to go ahead and drill all of our blast powder uh, to a precise specification, allows us to control hole depth, monitor downforce and pressures, as well as our penetration report, so because it has a lot more rich data to analyze to determine how do we really optimize our fragmentation. Also got cat terrain inside of this uh, dozer that you see pushing up here. Now that dozer is actually running cat command for dozer. And if you look over here on the left, Jared is actually controlling that with the over there shoulder console that he's got. So we'll talk a little bit more about cat for dozer in a bit. And we'll show you a couple other flavors of it, but that's one version that we use specifically for safety exercises when we're trying to work over in a tight space or, or to have, do a cleanup in an area that's had a slide or something like that. It's a really easy way to go ahead and get into automation.